Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and thanks for stopping by and watching. So this is the sixth spray paint art video in the beginners tutorial series and in this one I'm going to show you how to make some simple mountings using magazine paper and a carrier grocery bag. I'll be adding a moon and a big star in the sky above the mountains as well. I'll also be using the same glossy card which is A3 in size and also the same spray paint as the previous tutorials in the series which is Montana White. So I hope you all enjoy watching and find this tutorial helpful and if so give it a thumbs up and please share with friends and family or anyone that you think may be interested in learning this type of art. And also if you're a new visitor to my channel and like what you see then please hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on future spray paint art videos. It'd be very much appreciated. So the first thing we're going to do is make the moon. If you have been following these tutorials up to now, you should have a good idea of how to make a planet. If you haven't, then you can always go back and check out the previous videos in the series. You can check them out by clicking the cards here. Or find them in the description box below. Right then, we'll grab the lid stencil and place it on your sheet where you want your moon to go. I'm going to have mine there. So we're just going to spray an outline around it. I'll put it to one side for now. So now we'll fill the outline in with black and white. So grab the white first and fill the outline in. Then some black. bit more white and a bit of black now get the material that you're going to make the texture with and pull some of the paint back off I'm going to use magazine paper I'm just going to crunch it screwed up like this And we'll just place it over the top and give it a rub. And then pull it off. I'm going to add, do it a few more times to give it a bit more texture. So you can just keep at dabbing the paint with whatever you're using to make your texture with. You can do that stage as many times as you want until you find the right texture you're looking for. Now we're going to put the highlight and shadows on it. So grab the white and we're just going to lightly spray it here. So that's the highlighting and now for the shadow which we'll use black spray paint and spray it here. So now with the highlight and shadow on your moon, you can either wait till it's dry or just carry on with the paint still wet. Just remember what I said in the last videos, there's no rush, just take your time when doing things. So with that we'll get the lid stencil, we'll place it over the moon making sure you cover a bit of the highlighted area and a bit of a shadowed area. So we'll place that on there like that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do all the background but we're going to leave about this much clear at the bottom. So grab the black, first we'll put a line there, so I'm going to leave that clear for now and then we'll fill the rest of the sheet in now black. Just remember when you go around your lid stencil to do it a bit lighter so you don't get any leaking under the stencil onto your planet. So 
now we've painted the background black, we're going to add some small stars into the sky, using the same technique that I showed you in the previous tutorials. So grab the white, we'll spray a bit onto our fingers, and then flick a bit off away from the painting, and then flick it onto the painting then, to make your stars. You can do this stage as many times as you want, depending on how many stars you want in your painting. So now with the small stars in, that's the sky finished for now and we'll move on to pulling the first mountain in which will be in the background I'll be using a carrier grocery bag to make this mountain so the first thing you want to do is gather black and spray a mountain shape on your painting then go over the black with some white so we'll grab the black and we're going to do a mountain shape like that That's a black on, and now we'll go over it with white. with the paint down we'll get a carrier grocery bag and pull some of the paint off to make some texture on your first mountain. So now we'll get a carrier grocery bag and what I do is when you get a bag and it's like that I just cut one of the sides out so it makes the carrier bag bigger then. Now what we're going to do is we're going to place it on here where you painted your mountain in we're going to start from this side and we're just going to follow the line of the mountain. So get your bag and we'll place it on there. Just following your line up. And we'll make like a peak shape there. And then do the same on the other side. So then it's like that on the sheet, and then just give this a bit of a dab in places so it makes your texture. And then we'll pull the bag back off. have a look and see if there's anywhere that needs a bit more texture doing like here you could just get your edge of your bag and just add a bit in there like that so that's the first mountain done with a carrier grocery bag this could take a bit of practice to get right but with a few goes you should get used to doing it just take your time at this stage and don't forget there's no rush also, just watch out how many times you do the texture on this, as the more times you do it, the more chance a white and black paint will mix together and turn to a grey looking colour. So with that, your first mountain is done. So now we'll move on to putting some mountains in the foreground. For these, I'm going to be using magazine paper to make the texture on them. The process to make these mountains is the same one that you've just used to make your mountain in the background. So I'll put the first mountain here on this side. So with the black spray paint, 
We're going to spray a mountain outline first. Like that, and then we'll go over it with the white. And then with the magazine paper, we'll just give it a bit of a crunch up first. Like that, so you get a few lines in it. And then we're just going to place it on and follow your outline of the mountain. So just like that, just follow the outline. Give it a rub and then... Pull it off. You can always go over it again if if your paper isn't big enough. And I'll just take a bit off here. So you've got the line of it of your mountain. Like that. So with that one in, we're going to put another mountain in this side, but this one's going to go in front of this one. So with the black, we'll do another mountain shape. So I'll bring that one here, and I'll bring it over, like that. And then with the white again, go over black. So that's the white and the black on. Now get your magazine paper. Do a bit of a crunch off. And then we'll follow the line of the mountain. So get your paper. Or whatever you're using to make your texture with. And we'll just follow the line down. Just give it a bit of a rub. And then peel it off to make your texture. It depends what material you use, sometimes it may stick, like it has done here. But lucky it's not stuck to the painting. You can always go back and just tidy up the edges here by using the same bit of magazine paper. So you just put a bit of an edge on it. So Just make it like that. It's got like a mountain shape to it. Right then, now the mountain is done, but just remember when you're doing the texture on your mountains, just leave a bit of white paint behind it. So then it gives a bit of depth to your painting if you're layering mountains like I've done in this painting. Right then, with the mountains done, we'll just add a big star in the sky. I've left this till last as I didn't want any overspray from the black or white when we did the first mountain. And also, it can be placed in your painting better now you have the mountains in place. So I'm going to put the star here. So with your straight edge and your white paint, we're going to put the lines in first. So the sky's dry enough now to put the straight edge onto your painting. So we're just going to put it there. And remember to spray your paint onto a straight edge and the overspray will be making your lines. So... One there. One there. Uh. 
So there are all your lines done. And now we'll get a star stencil, the card with the hole in the middle. And we'll line it up about two inches away from your painting. And we'll just spray through the hole. To make, to make the middle of your star. So now with the star done, we'll take the lid stencil off your moon. So as you can see, when I pulled the lid stencil off, some of the paint's come off with it. That's because I put the lid stencil on when it was wet. See round the edge there. So to stop that happening, all you have to do is take your time and let things dry before moving on to the next stage. So if I had let that moon dry before placing the lid stencil on, none of the paint would have lifted back off when I pulled the lid stencil off. So just remember, take your time, there's no rush. There's just one last thing to do now before you sign your painting, and that is we're just going to put some black here. I do this so the signature stands out a bit more, and also gives the mountain some shadow at the bottom. So just spray a bit of black here. And then we'll get whatever you're going to sign your painting with. We'll just sign your name there. And then that's the painting finished. So I hope you enjoyed learning and found this spray paint art tutorial helpful. And if so, give it a thumbs up and please share with friends and family. Or anyone that you may think would be interested in learning this form of art. And also, if you're a new visitor to my channel and like what you saw, then please hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on future videos in the series. It would be very much appreciated. Also, coming up in the next tutorial video in the series, I'll be showing you how to add a simple but effective galaxy to your painting using a plastic bag. And also, I'll be showing you how to do multicoloured planets and stars. Just before I tell you what you need for the next tutorial, I'm just going to move the painting onto a piece of white card so you can see it better. So you'll need for this tutorial something to spray on like gloss card or canvas or whatever you're using to spray on. You're going to need black and white spray paint and three colours of your choice. I'll be using red, yellow and orange. Just make sure they're all the same make as different makes may react with each other. Four different sized lid stencils for your planets like these. Something to sign your work with, like a palette knife or something like that. A carrier grocery bag. And also your chosen material to make the texture on your planets. A mask. Some gloves. A straight edge. This can be the same one you've used for the other tutorials. And the star stencil, that's a card with the hole in the middle. Also, if you have any questions or want to know something, just leave a comment below and I'll be happy to help. So once again, thank you for stopping by and watching. I hope to see you all in the next spray paint art video. Have a great day, take care and bye for now.